Gene from Avstar. Um, someone said in the comment section, why don't you show it a friend? What's going on? And I thought I'd show it a thousand friends, you guys. Because this should not be happening. If you've um, got a little bit of uh, knowledge in electrolysis, you know that this should not be happening. And I'm about to show you why that is. Um, let's get on with it. Um, You'd have to excuse me, I've got the um, laptop here. I'm going to show you the um, really uh, unusual. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, to be honest. Let me just put the power to this and you can see for yourselves. You can see a lot of hydrogen gas being generated on the one side and zero oxygen on this side. And what we should be getting is twice the amount of hydrogen to half the amount of oxygen being produced, H2O. And we're not getting that. I want to let you just watch this for a little bit. And you can see the water levels going down. That's because the hydrogen gas is filling up that capacity and pushing down on the water. But there's nothing at all happening on the oxygen side whatsoever. And not only have these got, um, they've got valves, these tubes have, which clamp off the uh, gas until you press the valve and then it allows the gas to flow out. I've also put, as you can see, these clips on the, on the tubes to block it past the valve. So there's no mistake here what's happening. Um, what you'll notice is there is no activity whatsoever on the positive side of this electrode but everything is happening on the uh, negative side where we get um, H2, you know, production, hydrogen. All I can say is this is shocking, shocking, shocking. And, you know, I, I just can't, you know, it has turned all the principles of science um, to me on the head I can't explain why this is taking place how come there is no oxygen production and more so the other day when we was um, experimenting with you know iron wind and showing that there was a way of overcoming um, a hydrogen fuel cell which relies on hydrogen gas being uh, pumped over that particular side why is it we're not getting any hydrogen production uh, sorry what I did and you guys um, was informed about it was I pumped iron air over the hydrogen side of the fuel cell and got it to work which means we don't need hydrogen anymore on that side and you know the fuel cells have developed enough to work with just oxygen atmospheric oxygen 20 percent oxygen that's at uh, sea surface level we don't have the availability of hydrogen at sea surface level because it's a lot lighter, lighter gas and therefore it rises and i don't know what the hell is going on here because this turned physics for me upside down why isn't oxygen being produced in electrolysis? I really don't. I, I have no explanation for this. This is a standard. You know, everybody knows you connect a positive and a negative to a cathode and an anode in a solution which is. 
um, I'm not going to say concentrated, or let's say at least this, it has enough um, potential to influence conductivity between the two, the cathode and the anode, or the negative and the positive. And what we should have is oxygen production, and we don't. And what we're getting here on the other end of this experiment, or this this um, progressive understanding, is that we don't even need hydrogen for some reason. It's you know I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's like the butterfly effect. You know, it's like we've we've passed into another dimension where things are, are not operating um, as they should and the only thing that could have been the cause of that is this thing how can that possibly affect anything in this realm that we're living in I, I have no explanations for any of this how come we're able to do away with hydrogen on the hydrogen fuel cell well, let's call it now what is actually the case it's a, an iron cell so we've got iron wind on one side oxygen on the other producing electricity and uh, as you know you know with a nine volt battery we can create iron wind with one of these nine volts so very little power input but we get a remarkable output and everything Cue the ice cream van. <laughs> this is so surreal. It's unbelievable. I, I I have no explanations for what is going on here. None whatsoever. You know, I don't know why electrolysis isn't working. I don't know why. Um, you know, we are able to use iron wind. Maybe we've crossed a boundary within the system and I, I have no explanation for any of it I really don't um, that that what you've just witnessed shouldn't be shouldn't even be happening we should not be getting hydrogen and no oxygen out of this um, experiment you know we should be getting exactly what we're used to that's if we're not in a paradox or something's not, exp I mean, I don't know. I really have no ideas why we got no oxygen, <laughs> why? <laughs> you know, this is a standard. How come we are producing no oxygen and just hydrogen? I have no explanation for it. I really don't. I have no explanation as to where all this is going or where it's leading to. It's a little bit frightening, I've got to say this, because, you know, we are breaking the laws of physics as we understand them. In And, the you know, I, I mentioned in the last video uh, to you guys, um, quantum physics, you know, when we were examining an experiment uh, through a double slit only when it knows it's been observed it behaves different and on two of these occasions we can see clearly something is behaving differently um, for someone like me you know uh, a scientific mind I, I have no idea what's going on, absolutely no idea, um, because this is a brand new day for me in, in science, and um, you know, it, the only way I can explain it is, is coming from another dimension. You know, there, there must be, um, according to some theorists out there, that there are thousands of dimensions at each given time so at this present time there are another thousand dimensions happening and things are taking part in those dimensions where um, you know reactions like what we've just witnessed is 
different to another dimension. Maybe I'm in a new dimension now. And that sounds absolutely absurd, I understand. Maybe. I'm in a new dimension now where something different is happening. Maybe I've got I've pushed the envelope of this way too far and now I'm starting to see the 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 bizarre take place which wouldn't ordinary at all wouldn't normally take place yet it is it's unbelievable and it doesn't matter how many times I press that switch on and I thump the power into this electrolysis the results are the same there is lots of hydrogen production and no oxygen and for that reason something's something's not the same as it was weeks ago for me I'm just wondering and I'm a little bit nervous to go outside to see if there's other things that have changed because can you imagine having to deal with that the human mind having to deal with you know a paradoxical change you know uh, a quantum um, jump into a, another dimension and yet I'm still what I've, I'm hoping I'm still in the same realm as where I was a few weeks ago I just am shocked and now you know pondering whether I should have studied art as opposed to science because this is unusual there must be an explanation and um, you know I have to um, give it some time to think about this I will say this you know as well you know I, I record there are strange things happening and they've been happening very strange for a long period of time um, oh should we go into it I mean it, it's probably a, a topic for another day Yeah, it's a, it's a topic for another day. Okay, I'm going to leave it here, guys. You know, um, who knows where we're going next? <laughs> this is an extraordinary life journey that I'm experiencing. All of a sudden, all the rules have been turned on the head. Everything I, I thought I knew is no longer the case. And, um, you know, you might think oh, that's the powers that be that are controlling our countries. I think this is way beyond that. Something else is at force here. Much greater powers than you can even imagine. And I can imagine from your point of view, um, how you might be feeling right now, listening to this, having somebody explain this to you. Um it's going to come across as bizarre you know I shared the experiment with you and there's no going back from that we can see clearly what's happening so you know this is real so what's happened to me if it's just me um, you know it's happened I know how this is coming across people are just thinking Jesus Christ, Jim, you've, you've worked too hard. You need a break. I probably do. That's the truth, yeah. Maybe I do. Um, the whole idea of science for me was to understand, and maybe I've, gone to, I've pushed it too far. I've gone too far. It's not just 
the fact that oxygen isn't being produced in this experiment, this electrolytes experiment. It's the fact that you can run with iron wind over the uh, hydrogen fuel cell. Uh, you can run it. You can produce electricity and produce it very cheaply. And this is, I, I, like I explained to you guys, I'm going to push it. We're going to push it way beyond anyone else has gone. We're going to try lots of different things. We're going to try pressurising um, the electromagnetic uh, field. We're going to pressurise it with a shaped coil. We're also going to um, add the water vapour. The water vapour in the atomizer didn't do anything at all. In fact, it reduced it. So we quickly discarded that. What we found was just by creating ionic wind or ionic thrust was enough to run the fuel cell. So we t we we changed it from that moment on from a uh, hydrogen fuel cell, something that required hydrogen, to something that required ionic wind. So you could call it now the ionic fuel cell. Maybe it will be something really big in the future. But have we changed something? And what the hell is going on right here? And, and you know, the, the weird things don't just start here with these things it's happening with a lot of other things it's like I've, I've i've drew a lot of attention to myself and everything is going crazily banana shaped i'm not joking but you know i have been accustomed to things in my life that others wouldn't have naturally ordinarily experienced so there might be, you know, a purpose to all this. And I, for one, do not understand what that purpose is right now. I just know that it's, it's a little bit scary because it's, we're in the weird territory of normal things happening. It's also a little bit exciting because this is new territory we've got to explore it and um i i would like to think that this this what is taking place in here in this little room is just um the start and end of all of this and it doesn't expand towards the outside world but we'll we'll let you know in the days to come and that is if i'm not completely severed and detached from this dimension that I am now able to communicate with you and if it is then you probably never even saw one of these videos or you never even knew me at all that's how weird things are it was only until you pressed the button perhaps you was able to um, interact strange strange uh quantumly strange things taking place guys and um you know I, I i love you guys you know this is i don't do any of this for myself i do it for you you know and anything i find i share with you and i do it with with my hand, hand on my heart i really do um so with what seems entered a new realm. Let's see where this goes. As always, bye for now.